Hello guys, welcome back. This is going to be a spark plug video for 2015 Dodge Journey 2.4 liter. Okay, some of the things you're going to need is a spark plugs. These are NGK V Power. I wrote the gap on the box for the spark plugs too. It's going to be 0 0.044. These are actually the spark plugs that are in the vehicle when they came from the dealer. Got your spark plug gapper here. You can pick these up at any auto zone anywhere relatively cheap you also gonna need a hex tool it's gonna be a four millimeter I'll show you what that's gonna be for in a bit uh, your standard 5 8 spark plug remover socket extension and ratchet okay first thing you're gonna want to do is take your four millimeter hex tool and remove this bolt okay once you get that bolt off set it aside somewhere where you won't forget it and this will just pop right out see pops right out Okay, the next thing you're going to need the hex tool is for the bolts on each boot. What you do is you put it in there, take it off, and then you're going to repeat that for all four. Okay, once you got those bolts off, all four, the next thing you're going to want to do is, there's a clipper here. You could do it by hand, but sometimes people need help. If you use a flathead screwdriver, pop that and then press this button, it slides right out. What you're going to do is take the boot out, put it to the side as well. Okay, once you got the boot out, you're going to want to put your socket and your ratchet in there. And remove the spark plug. Okay, the next thing you want to do is going to you want to check the gap of the spark plug. Uh, usually NGK is pretty good about sending the spark plugs pre-gapped, but uh, I check them, you know, just to make sure. The next thing you want to do is, uh, I recommend you remove the extension from the ratchet. Okay, then you stick the spark plug in there. And to do it by hand, just so you won't damage the spark plug while you're putting it in, I recommend doing it this way. And you slide it in very carefully, and by hand you twist it. Once it becomes a little bit tight, and then you can get the ratchet. Re-enter it, and hand tighten it. And then you remove it, place the boot back in, reconnect the clip, put the lock, and all you have to do is reinsert the bolt and tighten it. And it will be the exact same process for all four. See, folks, this is why you're going to want to check your spark plugs. This is only after 50,000 miles in my vehicle. That gap is about 0 0.60. Stock gap is supposed to be 0 0.044. We're having a real big issue with gas mileages and performance-wise. Now you can see why.
Okay, once you got all the spark plugs changed out, you put the clips back in, you lock them in. You want to put the, make sure you don't forget to put the, the bolts back to hold the boots in place. Okay, got the bolts in for the boots, you put the lid back on, and all it does is it snaps back into place. Then you're gonna put this bolt back on the lid and tighten it with the four millimeter hex tool you have. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All I have to do is clean up your tools, make sure you don't leave anything behind. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, answer them as best as I can. I'm not a professional mechanic by any means, but I do do a lot of my own work. So if you have any other questions, not even just about the spark plugs, anything on this vehicle, I'll help you out with. Let me know. Thanks.